In this video, we are going to solve simultaneous linear equations with two unknowns. You will find this on page 132 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Solve simultaneous linear equations with two unknowns. We have learned how to solve linear equations in one variable, such as x plus 1 equals 5. The equation has a unique solution. x is 4. That means if we replace, okay, if you put a 4 there, then 4 plus 1 will be 5. But if we replace the number 1 in the above equation by another variable y, the equation becomes x plus y equals 5. This is a linear equation in two unknowns, x and y. From the equation, we know that the value of y depends on the value of x. For example, if x is going to be 2, then y is going to be 3, because 2 plus 3 is 5. And if x is going to be 3, then y will be 2. And if x is equal 4, then y will be 1. So x plus y equals 5 will, ha will has infinitely many values for x and y. But when you use two equations together, you can find a unique solution. By including the equation negative 2x plus y equals negative 1, there are now two variables and two equations. We will solve these equations at the same time and find one solution which is true for both. This is why they are called simultaneous equations. You are trying to solve them both for the same values for x and y. Solving simultaneous linear equations means finding where the straight lines meet. At the point where any two lines meet, the x and the y values of these lines will be the same. So these are two equations, these are two straight lines. That On that point, the value of x will be 2 and the value of y will be 3. And that counts for this line as well as this line. So the coordinates of the point of intersection is 2 and 3. There, 2 and 3. Give the solution to the pair of simultaneous linear equations. So x is 2 um, and y is 3. I just want to correct this. x is 2 and y will be equals to 3. In this section, we will take a look at two algebraic methods that can be used to solve a pair of simultaneous linear equations. The elimination method and the substitution method. So there's two methods, but in this video, we're going to focus on the elimination method. So solve simultaneous linear equations in two unknowns by the elimination method. Let's just move this up. In the elimination method, you either add or subtract the equations to get an equation in one variable. When the coefficients of one variable are additive inverses, you add the equations to eliminate a variable. For example, look at the two equations. Do you see that the b, the variable b, is actually negative 3b here? And in this case, it's positive 3b. That means it's an additive inverse. So when the coefficients of one variable are equal, you subtract the equations to eliminate the variable. So if it's 7x and 7x, you're going to subtract this, or say for example, this equation from this one, or this one from this one. You, because then all the signs of one of the equations will change, and then you have again additive inverses, so that one of the variables cancel out. You can multiply an equation or each equation by a suitable number so that the two equations have the same leading coefficient. So for example, say if you, this is your equation, then you can multiply this one by negative 2 so that you are going to have that this 2 will have 4x and this will have negative 4x. So you can actually play around with the equations by subtracting something with the whole way through 
or multiplying something the whole way free, through. It's actually subtracting an equation, okay, or otherwise multiply the equation by negative one. Okay, let's look at an example. Example 13. Using the elimination method, solve the simultaneous equations. Okay, so if you look at this one, you will see, and I want to highlight this for you. Do you see? That's additive inverses. That means they are exactly the same, just with different signs. So what will happen? I can just go, since the coefficients of B in these equations are negative 3 and positive 3 respectively, we add the equations to eliminate the term B. So by doing that, that will cancel. And what will be left? Um, 7 plus 4, 11a. This, negative 22, I divide 11, divide 11, so I get the value of A. So substitute A is negative 2 then in the other equation. So actually I formed an uh, equation in one unknown so that I can simplify it. And then I just substitute this value of A into one of the equations. You can either decide one or two. In this case, I took one. Then you have again an equation, look there, with just one variable. And then you can go and you can it's again take it over, add, divide, and then this will be your solution. And you can check, I'll show you now this thing. You can check by substituting these two values in and see if the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. I just want to show you I could either substitute this one into equation 1 or I could have substituted in equation 2 and that's what I did there. Okay, but I want you to stop the video and I want you to do A and I want you to do F. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start with number A. And so if I have 4x plus y equals 37. And this will be 2x minus y equals 17. Okay, and now I want to show you, and usually what we do is we draw a line in elimination. And then we check. Do you see that this is again exactly the same because it's 1, 1, and the signs are different. So if I add these two equations, this will cancel out. So 4 plus 2, that will be 6x. And 37 um, plus 17, that will be 54. And then if I just divide by 6, divide by 6, and I will get that my value of x will be 9. So there was my linear equation. Then I will just take my equation and then in the place of x I will put 9. Oh, let's just get the pen correct. Okay, so 4 times 9 is 36. And then to get y, I will say 37 minus 36, and that is 1. Um, I, I just for this one, I'm going to show you. If, say, for example, somebody say, oh, but I want to substitute it in the other one. But don't do both. It's unnecessary time wasting. Okay, but if other, somebody would say, oh, I, I would rather prefer to substitute it in the second equation. This was my first. This was my second. Let's see what they will get. So then it's going to be 2, 9, minus y equals 17. So that will give me 18 minus y equals 17. Now be careful, it's negative y is 17 minus 18. So negative y will be negative 1. I divide negative 1, divide negative, the value of y will also be 1. Exactly the same I got there. Okay, and now, so therefore, therefore, my solutions will be 
y is 1 and x is 9. And, and you don't have to do it always. I'm, I'm just going to do it for this video. Do the check. How do we check? We write one of the equations fully down. Oh, I'm writing the incorrect equation down. It was, okay, I'm taking the second one. And then we substitute the two values. So in the place of x, it's 9. In the place of y, it's 1. And then we will just get 18 minus 1 equals 17. And then we will get 17 equals 17. And that will be your final answer. Okay. Let's look at number f. Let's start with f. First write your equations down and just take a few seconds and think and check if everything, if there's something to cancel out because you try to eliminate. That's why the method is elimination, one of the variables. Now if you look here, you will again say, oh, perfect, because this is positive 2y, negative. This is equation 1. Okay, let's just get the pen correct. This is equation 1. This is equation 2. So basically, I'm just going to say, if I'm going to eliminate, so I'm going to, to just say, if I say 1 plus 2, I'm just adding it up, then this will cancel. And this I will get 11x. And if I'm going to do this one, I'm going to get 44. Now I have one variable, so I divide 11. I divide 11. The value of x will be 4. And now I'm just going to write down So this is going to be, okay, remember you substitute in x. And I just took the top equation. So it's going to be 2y plus 5, and in the place of x, I put a 4. So 2y plus 20 equals 18. So 2y equals 18 minus 20. So 2y equals negative 2. I divide 2, I divide 2. The value of y is equal to negative 1. So therefore, x is 4 and y is negative 1. And I'm not going to check, check it this time, but it's always good in the beginning to just do a quick check. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now in this case, if we look at this example, so we're going to bring the level a little bit up. In this example, you will see that it's both, they are exactly the same, but both is positive and one should be negative. So what will I do? I will subtract the two. Now if I subtract, it's almost like I multiply a negative in with all the terms. So I will get negative 7, negative 8, negative 13. So put a bracket, but don't just do it on this side the whole way through and I didn't change the equation and now after that I can go and I can just subtract this two, this, this cancel out and then this one will give me negative six and this will give me six I divide and then I write and I substitute and the value of x will be three so this is the solution and you can do the check again okay Again, I want you to stop the video, and in this case, I'm just going to give you first only one. And what, which one will we give you? Again, I stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video.
Okay, first always stand a little bit still and just think, okay, this is equation one, this is equation two. I'm just going to draw my line, always elimination, a line. Okay, and then I'm going to, to say, oh, there's a problem. The signs are the same, and the signs must be what? The signs must be different. So I, I'm going to take, I should have taken this white, and multiply with a negative. Now if I do that, and I just have to rewrite this again, so it's 3a minus 5b, it should have been nice if I could write there. Um, I think I'm going to write there. I'm just going to move it up a little bit. So I'm going to get 3a minus 5b equals negative 3 and this is going to be negative 4a plus 5b equals negative 1. Okay. Now, excellent. Did you see? Because look, it's the same. And now I'm going to cancel. So if I do this, if I subtract, if I actually add it now because the signs is already different, but then I will get negative 1a and negative 4. And then I'm just going to divide because I want positive 8. Divide by negative 1, divide by negative, and the value of a, what will be the value of a? The value of a will be 4. And then I continue. Okay, then I write down one of my equations. So it's going to be 3a minus 5b equals negative 3. And now in the place of a, I'm going to put the 4. So I'm going to get 12 minus 5b equals negative 3. So negative 5b equals negative 3 minus 12. So negative 5b equals negative 15. I divide negative 5 and I divide negative 5. The value of b, what will be the value of b? value of b will be 3. So therefore, the value of a was 4 and the value of b is 3. And again, I can substitute it in one of the equations and see if my two sides are equal. Okay, let's look at the next one. Okay, in this case, I'm going to do a little bit more. So now, now I'm going to look at the two. Let's look at this example. If I look at the example, I see, oh, there's a problem. Because nothing is the same. No coefficient will be the same. So in this case, I must make one of the variables, the coefficients, actually the same, but with different signs. So if I look at, so the number the equation so that the working might clear. Since no coefficients are equal, you must find the lowest common multiple of one of the unknowns. The coefficient of m in these equations are 5 and 2. So we multiply equation by 2 and equation by 5 so that the coefficients of m will both be 10. Then we subtract the equations to eliminate the terms. So first make it the same. So put a bucket around the whole equation and multiply. Whole equation multiply. And then you change the signs, so you're basically going to multiply in. And remember, you can get fractions. So in this case, I'm getting a fraction. And then if I get a fraction, and then I'm just going to substitute it. And then after I substitute, this will be my answer. Okay, I want you again to stop the video and I want you to do number A. I'm going to give you more than one. Let's make it one A. I'm going to move it up. And two A. Okay, let's start. One A. So it's going to be two Y plus five X equals 24 and 4y plus 3x equals 20. Okay, again, let's work in red. 
we have to find the LCM. Now, it's sometimes nice to not change both equations. So if I just multiply this one first just with a 2, I'm going, you could multiply negative 2, but to help, I'm going to just multiply it by 2. This is equation 1, 2. So if I multiply it by 2, I'm going to get 4y plus 10x, and that's 48. Okay. And then this is going to be 4y plus 3x, and that's going to be 20. Okay. So now the signs, what will happen to the signs? The signs now will change. I must still multiply this one with a negative 1. Okay, so let's call it, you can make it 3 and 4, or you can keep it to 1. But if I multiply, so let's just write it down again, 4y plus 10x equals 48. Oh, sorry. And then negative 4y minus 3x equals negative 20. Okay, and now, oh, excellent. It's the same. Do you see? If you want, but I, I, I prefer, and I'm going to do it like this, I prefer, and maybe I did it a little bit different there, but I prefer to say, no, oh, no, let's do it like the example. This was 3, and this is 4, and this was actually saying 3 minus 4, okay, doesn't matter. So this is going to be 7x, and if I subtract this one, it's going to be 28. Okay, and now I'm going to start and I'm going to say this is try now 15. Okay. Now I'm going to divide by 7, 7. And the value of x will be 4. And now you can, I, I like to write the simple one. So take the one before you were multiplying. No, I prefer that you do this one. The one that was unchanged. If, they, if there's one that's un unchanged. But it, it really doesn't matter. It will give you the same answer. So then I will have 4y plus 3, 4 equals 20. So 4y plus 12 equals 20. So 4y equals 20 minus 12. Oh, sorry, let just get the pen correct. So 4y will give me 20 minus 12. That's going to give me 8. And then I'm just going to divide by 4 and divide by 4. The value of y will be 2. So therefore, y is 2 and x is 4. That's my final answer. Okay. Let's do the next one. So it takes just practice, but it's a very easy method to follow. I just want to get the rubber. Okay, the last one. Okay, and I have to move this just a bit up so that I can see. 2a. So in this case, it's 4x plus 5y equals 23. 3x plus 2y equals 12. Now what is the LCM? So in this case I have to change both equations. You can either take this to 10 or this to 12. It depends. So I think let's take this to 10. Because if I take it to 10, I will multiply by 2 and this one I will multiply by 5. So let's first do that. So what will I, this is equation 1, this is equation 2. So I will get, I will get 8x plus 10y equals 
46. Let's call it 3. And this will be 15x plus 10y and this will be 60. And let's call it equation 4. Okay. And then I'm going to start and I'm going to say Okay, now the signs are still the same, and the signs must be different. Can you still remember? So I must multiply one of them by a negative one. So if I do that, and I'm just going to write again here, let's rewrite the first one. And now it's negative 15x minus 10y, negative 60. Okay, and now if I simplify this two, I will get that I get negative 7x. This will cancel, and then this one will be negative 14. Oh, let's just get. And then I divide negative 7, negative 7, the value of x will be 2. And then I write down one of my equations. Anyone? I'm just taking, I, I prefer to take ones that's not already manipulated. So I'm just substituting in the place of x. So this is 8. So 5y equals 23 minus 8. So 5y, and in this, this last one, I'm just going to say 23 minus 8, and it's going to give me a 15. I divide 5, and I divide 5, and the value of y will be 3. So I'm basically going to say, therefore, x is 2, ooh, the pen, x is 2, and y is 3. Practice as many as possible and you will become better. In the next video, um, I just want to show you, we are going to focus on the substitution method.